And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And Sunny from Pele, there came a sound like the rush of the violent wind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and the tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment, because each one heard their own language being spoken. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. And they were all amazed, and were in doubt, saying to one another, What meaneth this? Other mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Then Peter stood up with the other eleven apostles, and in a loud voice began to speak to the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, listen to me and let me tell you what this means. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It is only nine o'clock in the morning. Instead, this is what the prophet Joel spoke about. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and the vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Peter made his appeal to them, and with many other words he urged them, saying, Save yourself from the punishment coming on this wicked people. Many of them believed his message and were baptized, and about three thousand people were added to the group that day. They spent their time in learning from the apostles, taking part in the fellowship, and sharing in the fellowship meals and the prayers. <laughs> 